Hi there, thanks for watching. I'm Doc Acula, and I'm playing at least one hour of every single game on Xbox Game Pass, then giving a quick review of each one to give you an idea if the game is worthy of your time. Today I'm playing Signs of the Sojourner. It combines deck building with a quirky narrative. I don't really know much else about it, so let's dive right in. Will Signs of the Sojourner be a winning hand, or is it a few cards short of a deck? And more importantly, is it worth your precious time and hard drive space? Likely the first thing you'll notice is that the game uses a pleasant, whimsical, silly art style. However, it kind of felt like a bit of a misdirection as the game is actually a lot darker in tone than I expected. And even though it never seems to take itself all too seriously, it also isn't particularly funny. It's trying to walk a really fine line by touching on themes like dealing with grief, honoring your family legacy, imposter syndrome, not to mention the whole thing appears to be set post-apocalypse following a climate disaster, and all this while presenting its characters as cute, crudely drawn Muppets. The core gameplay hook revolves around using a deck of playing cards to navigate conversation. Before even initiating a conversation, the game let me know which symbols would be on the character's cards, and certain shapes were given a brief description like logical and diplomatic, or empathetic and observant. At first seeing this, I was all like, whoa, can I actually affect anything with these? From what I could tell, the answer was a resounding no not even a little tiny bit the goal is for each player and by player i mean you or the npc you're trying to talk to takes turns playing a card that matches the previous symbol play if you have a matching card in your hand of five cards great on you if not sorry bucko the conversations themselves are decently written though nothing spectacular the only standout character i can remember was an aloof girl who stole an art painting from me and fled to the neighboring town still when i followed her there she gave the painting back and the story just kind of petered out there's a melancholic vibe to most interactions but it never gets really serious or depressing. I do think that it may have been in the game's best interest to either have left out the somber stuff and gone full on silly, or to have committed to the darker aspects fully. As it is, it didn't leave much of an impression on me. The conversations are all completely binary, either pass or fail. If you fail, you get to keep going with your journey. You just don't get the good reward for winning the conversation. Story of my life, am I right? You can find some semi-interesting stories off the beaten path, but that appeared to be about it. As you travel, you pick up fatigue cards that are added to your deck and can come up randomly during conversations, which sort of discourages a lot of exploration. You'll have to weigh the risk versus the reward of sticking to the beaten path with the caravan or going exploring off on your own. It kind of plays out like a post-apocalyptic Oregon Trail, but with that distinct indie game flavor. It feels like a missed opportunity that the game didn't lean further into that angle. I could easily picture myself getting low-key addicted to an alternate reality Signs of the Sojourner that didn't have the simplistic card game attached and was instead a series of choices that would ultimately play out either for or against you. God, that game sounds awesome. This seems like a game that's stuck in limbo. It doesn't know exactly what it wants to be. It's got a solid narrative, but the deck building doesn't seem fully fleshed out. And the tone seems unfocused, drifting between silly and melancholy. With all that said, I didn't have a bad time with Signs of the Sojourner either. If you were looking for a game with a very specific mood, which is chill, simple, and kind of mindless, you could do a whole lot worse than Signs of the Sojourner. And so, I would have to say it is maybe worth your time in hard drive space.